Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait a Minute production. Today is the 22nd of January 2014. It's a Wednesday and it's almost 6 p.m. And today in PJ it's kind of like uh, hazy. I uh, guess Indonesia is burning their forest again. So tough luck. Either that or our own industry which is the cars on the roads have already made the haze situation even worse even though it's a monsoon season when it comes to monsoon season it's supposed to be less hazy because the rain will actually dilute the this dirty disgusting carbon dioxide and whatnot that's emitted by our factories and also our cars so it is strange to have haze during the monsoon season is that a sign that the monsoon season is over who fucking knows i don't know you don't know and nobody knows Let's get on cracking. So at this end here, we have uh, Miss Victoria Ike Yen, Miss, I Miss Victoria Ike Yen, who is, uh, hmm, who is the Miss Selango Tourism 2013, also the Miss Winsun Cafe. I did an interview with her, so let's get on cracking. Do you see a resemblance between Miss Ike Yen and also this woman here? This woman here in this poster, Densha Otoko, is a Japanese drama in Japan. Uh, she, they do look uncannily familiar to each other. I mean, they look the same. So very, very strange indeed. But now mine is quite, quite similar. I mean, in this world, we have about how many people, how many human beings are there, how many Homo sapiens, and how many Homo superiors out there. I think there are about eight billion of us around. I think. I'm not sure actually. It'll be interesting to actually find out. Hmm. Consensus is well. Maybe let's see here. Population of Earth. Not Earth four. We are not in the DC universe or direct current universe. Uh, the universe where Superman and whatnot, uh, Superman, Batman exist. So there are like 7.046 billion of us on this lovely Mother Earth. So, so far there are 7 billion of us destroying Earth. Okay, that's a nice thing to know. So today I'm going to talk about Densha Otoko. Densha Otoko is a very popular uh, Japanese drama back in the day. Uh, back in my day, I think I watched it in around between 2005 to 2007. Uh, I was in Britain and I enjoyed the shit out of this uh this uh, J drama, uh, Japanese drama that is. So let's get on cracking. That's the second time I say get, let's get on cracking. So forgive me. So there is a very uncanny resemblance between two of these uh, beautiful girls, um, Victoria Akien here and also Misaki Ito. I think her name is Misaki Ito. So Densha Otoko translated roughly as Train Man. It's a Japanese movie, television series, manga, novel, and other media all based on the purportedly true story of a 23-year-old Aotaku who intervened when a drunk man started to harass several women on a train. The Aotaku ultimately begins dating one of the women. So, the event and the man's subsequent dates with the woman who became known as Hermes, so I, maybe I should call uh, Miss Aikyan here, Victoria Aikyan Hermes, was chronicled on the Japanese Mega BBS 2 channel. This led to comp led to the compilation of the relevant traits in a book, followed by several manga versions, a movie, a theatrical play later released as a DVD, and finally a TV series. Densha Otoko is a popular example of the nice guy class of Japanese geeks who wish to lead normal lives but are too afraid to find a girlfriend or speak openly online opening only online. I can relate to that actually. The television series uses a large number of computer bound extras. So what is an otaku? An otaku is... come on come on come on. Otaku is a Japanese term for people with obsessive interests. Commonly the anime and manga fandom. Its contemporary usage originated with Akio Nakamori's 1983 essay in manga Buriko. Otaku can be used as a pejorative. What the fuck is a pejorative? I'm not sure actually. Hmm, interesting. 
What is a pejorative? <laughs> pejorative means pejorative means uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my God! She really looks like Misaki Ito. The more I look at her. A pejorative uh, tending to make or become worse, disparaging, belittling. Okay, whatever that means, who cares? Uh, hmm, where where was I? Actually, ah yeah. So uh, blah 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 and blah blah. <clears throat> okay, so uh yeah, Densha Otoko. Oh my God, I've uh, watched it back in two thousand and something. So I was very very into it. I love the 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 drama. The Japanese the Japanese movie not so. It, the the Japanese movie had a different cast. The woman and the guy as well. It's different. I don't know which one came first, the J drama or the J movie. I'm not so sure. Uh, if uh okay uh, I would like to, like you guys to actually go and find this movie. Uh, Auto Densha Otoko. Uh, Densha is the train and Otoko is the man, so it's Densh, uh, train man. Go and watch it. Go and download it and go and watch it. It is great shit, I'm telling you. Okay. Okay. So, uh, besides that, there were a lot of uh, good songs in this J-drama itself. A lot of good insert songs. Not only the opening or the ending theme, but the use of uh, pop songs from... From, from the Western world and also from the Japanese world, all of them were pretty, pretty excellent. Uh, uh, one of the songs was like, say, uh, it's called, what, uh, Thank you, Mr. Roboto. Uh, wait, wait, how, how do you sing that already? Tomo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Tomo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Oh, that song, okay. Uh, that's a very classic song back in 1980s. I think it was famous then. And it's kind of like famous now and made famous again by this uh, J-drama. So uh, they don't have the list of songs in this wiki page, unfortunately. As I have said earlier, when I was doing the some stuff today, some... Uh, uh, some Shen Shingeki no Oth something fuck. Uh, Attack on the Titans, also known as Shingeki no Kyojin. Uh, yeah, uh, the wiki pages that uh, we get nowadays, uh, compared to two years ago, the today's one lacks substance and also panache. Uh, it, it's kind of suck already. It's something like a company's portfolio, uh, stock market thingy is like boring as fuck. So. Wiki has gone down the fucking monsoon drain, unfortunately. So, uh, we don't have any songs here. No list of songs. There should be some list of songs, but there are none. There is none. There are none. There are none. Yeah, there, there are none. So, uh, the ending teams. Uh, no, no, not this one. Uh, God damn it! Why didn't have? Why didn't have the the song the song list? I, I'm very disappointed. I'm extremely disappointed with Wiki and they're asking us for donations. Oh my god, what the fuck. Never mind. Let's go on cracking. So, let's see here. Misaki Ito. Uh, she is a very, 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 very pretty girl and she was featured in Densha Otoko as well as an, another another uh, stuff that I like called Sapli. Or in Japanese called Sapuri. So, Misaki Ito. Uh, not much of a wiki page actually, just boring shit and what she did, that's all. Quite a lot actually. The only ones that I've seen so far is Densha Otoko of course and Sapuri and that's all. Yes, I need to have more time to watch all this J drama stuff but I mean I haven't watched J dramas for like one year or, or, or so. Except for one that was very very good which is the great teacher Onizuka, uh, not the anime but the new series. It's called Great Teacher Onizuka 2012. Oh my God, this is some great shit. I thought I thought that the remake of the old Japanese drama would 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 be would suck massive balls, but actually it is fucking awesome. Oh my God, you gotta watch this one. GTO 2012 version. Oh my God, it was great. And also the the actresses, 
the students oh my god they were all so beautiful oh my god i would actually go back to school and endure the fucking stupid syllabus just to be a, a student with all these pretty young girls oh my god they are so delicious i mean they are, they are so so good looking okay go and check this great teacher on his blood 2012 out so mm, that's the only j drama that i've watched so far this no last year so i haven't been uh doing my stuff uh of praising or or review, review, reviewing all these uh all these j drama so in Sapuri, Sapuri is a manga series by Mari Okazaki. Blah 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 blah. And uh, let's see, anything else? Minami is a 27-year-old female office worker in an advertising, sorry, advertisement agency. So Minami is actually uh, Misaki Ito. So she has a boyfriend. She spends the majority of her time working and appears to feel ambivalent about the relationship at best. When the boyfriend finally breaks up with her, it's the push she needs to start a social life with her co-workers. In office, romances soon follow. Much of the story is told through Minami's thoughts, which are full of self-doubt. She is a very, very beautiful girl, this uh, Misaki Ito, aka Minami in Sapuri, but uh, she has a uh, self-confidence issue, uh, even though she is a damn nice-looking, great-looking woman. So in this Sapuri, I want to give you a, a story, okay? Uh, back in New Zealand, when I was in, uh, I think, Napier, yep, Na Napier is in the North Island of New Zealand, there was this cute Japanese girl and I was trying to bone her. Uh, in, other, in other words, I'm trying to bait her. In other words, I was trying to make love to her. I want to make love to her. I uh, wanted to, want to do, like fuck her brains out, actually, but never mind. But I failed. And uh, there was this interesting stuff uh, that I talked to her about. I told this Japanese girl who I have forgotten her name, unfortunately. I uh, tried to bone actually two Japanese girls in New Zealand, but all of it ended up in epic failure type of situation. But never mind, that's for another day. Uh, this Japanese girl told me, I, I told her that uh, I'm my favorite actress or the most beautiful Japanese actress. Oh my god, uh, this is... Uh, Victoria Ian trying to look mean and stuff like that. So, uh, the Japanese I told the Japanese girl that uh, the most beautiful girl in Japan or in whatever in the acting arena is actually Misaki Ito, and she dropped a bomb on me. This Japanese girl, she told me that Misaki Ito is actually a lesbian. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I was like. That time I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed yet aroused by that fact. Hmm, Misaki Ito, a lesbian. I was just imagining it. Yep, I was just imagining it. A lesbian. And what she actually does in the confines of a bedroom with another female. Hmm. So I was quite shocked by the fact that uh, this Japanese girl told me that Misaki Ito is a lesbian. It can be good, it can be bad, who knows. Uh, and also talk to this Japanese girl about my other favorite Japanese uh, admiration, which is Zard, Z-A-R-D, who committed suicide. And I asked her whether Zard is a lesbian or not, because Zard did not have uh, children or a spouse. So thank God this Japanese girl told me, well, there is no, uh, no confirmation about Zard's uh, sexual orientation. And uh, I love Zart. Zart's music is just delicious and good. Uh, I th I think she committed su suicide. I'm not sure. I think so. She committed suicide. One day she went out for a jog and she died. Very, very strange. Jogging and dying in the same sentence is not that plausible. Uh, Zart actually has cancer of something. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's a cancer of the ovaries. Something like that. Uh, a woman cancer. So it's a very, very sad thing. And... Zard will, will be missed, her nasally type of uh, singing will be missed and all the pop songs will be missed and of course she is, uh, she writes most of her songs and they are good. And also there's a fun fact about Zard, she actually started out as, as a, what you call it, as a model, something like uh, Victoria Aitian here, Zard that is. And I have the videos of her, actually it's very hard to come across the Zard videos 
of her early life before she was a pop singer and it's uh, stored away somewhere in my computer so yep I just wanted you to know that it does not mean I want to share it out so uh, let's see here <clears throat> so in this Sapuri uh, there was one sequence that was kind of weird actually and now that I put two and two together and I understand why uh, Misaki Ito is a lesbian okay so bear with me so one of the other actors in this sapuri is Kazuya Kamenashi here uh, I don't know whether he's handsome or not because I'm not gay but he's a very 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 slim person a tall and slim person so in this sapuri at the end of the the J drama there was a kiss this kiss here oh god the kiss was fucking awkward oh my god there should be some there should be some 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 awards for the worst kiss in in TV history. You see here, you can you already know. I mean, you look at this 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 screenshot alone. You know that Misaki Ito is just there, just standing there doing nothing while the guy is trying to kiss him kiss her. Oh my God, it was the most awkward kiss ever. Back in New Z uh, back in Britain, I watched this Sapuri and. Looking at it, I was dumbfounded. What the fuck is wrong with Misaki Ito? She is not kissing him back. And this is supposed to be a happy ending in this Sapuri. Oh my god. And now I know. She's a lesbian. She does not like to kiss men. Okay. It was very, very weird. And they lived happily ever after. After the very awkward looking kiss. And uh, too bad for the guy. She is actually a lesbian. But I'm not uh, like criticizing lesbians. Uh, I like them very much. Very, very much. Okay, so yeah, uh, enough of uh, Misaki Ito's uh, sexual orientation, and this is uh, both them together in the, from the Sapuri uh, J drama, and damn, they do look the same. Oh my god, oh my god, and uh, the kiss. Yep, uh, I'm not talking about this kiss actually between two guys. Ugh. That is quite annoying and disgusting. But never mind. So two of them, two guys kissing, and this one is the poster for the Densha Otoko. I think there was a kiss between she and this uh, oh, this nerd here. So there's another screenshot of uh, Misaki Ito, and uh, you must look at the resemblance, okay? Tell me, do they actually look the same between uh, Victoria Aikian here and Misaki Ito here? They look the same, right? And this is what she looks like, uh, Misaki Ito, when she was younger. And uh, she looks like a Thai girl actually, this Misaki, Misaki Ito. And of course, uh, Misaki Ito looking great here. Look at the similarities between the faces. Her face, the shape of her face and this one is almost similar. The eyes are big as well and her eyes is big. The nose is a bit different, uh, but uh, everything else is just the same. That's alright, it's not bad. Uh, uh, nah, it's not that nice actually, this picture. Aha, uh -huh, this one looks nice. So look at the face, it looks the same. Looking very sexy indeed. The face looks the same. The face looks the same. Look carefully, okay? Look carefully. They really, really look the same. Very, very same. Well, maybe something that is different. Uh, I think uh, Victoria Aiyan's uh, mouth is a bit. Uh, bigger, I think. Uh, not bigger. I mean, uh, wa not wider. Uh, longer. Yeah. Is there such a, uh, is there such a thing to describe the mouth as being longer? What does it mean, the mouth being longer? Uh, between the cheeks, uh, a bit longer compared to Misaki Ito's one, which is a bit smaller. Hers, uh, Victoria Aiyan is a bit, uh, longer. Okay, that's about it. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I just wanted to like say talk about uh, the similarities between uh, between Misaki Ito here and Miss Victoria Aikian. Hopefully, we get to see uh, Miss Victoria Aikian more often because she wants to be uh, an actress. Actually, the same as uh, what Misaki Ito here is currently doing, doing a lot of those uh, advertisements for. The cosmetic companies, if you go into uh, Aeon, Digesco, and Parks and Grand, and whatnot, and all the, those major, major shopping complexes and whatnot, you would actually find the picture of Misaki Ito here, uh, in the gracing the posters of those cosmetic 
kiosk. Of course, there's another Korean actress that I really, really like. Should I do something about her? Hmm. Uh, maybe later. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say, actually. And also to promote Densha Otoko. Do go and uh, watch this one. It's good shit. I would give this a 9 stars out of 10. But uh, one one criticism of, of Misaki Ito. She was just a nice looking woman in this Densha Otoko. She did not have to do anything at all. She did not have to put on her chop, her acting chops or acting gloves. She did not act at all. All she did was stand there looking nice, be demure, be graceful, and that's about it. That's all she did. So, uh, all I don't know about her acting capabilities, but I can guess that uh, she's like a log. She's like a wood, a pretty wood, a pretty looking wood, W O O D, and that's all she needed to be in the in these uh, dramas like Densha Otoko and also Ma Sapuri. Densha Otoko and Sapuri, we, we, we did not, or I did not get to see her acting chops or her acting capabilities because all she was was a pretty face to look at, and that's it. Ah. Uh. So yep, do go and check out this Densha Otoko and also then uh, sorry, do, do go and check out Densha Otoko and also Sapuri uh, because they feature Misaki Ito here who is a very pretty girl to look at and of course all the best to Victoria Ayen here she is uh, pretty and we get to see her more uh, in her Instagram here so she is with her boyfriend uh, yep with her boyfriend here. Uh, she is a very, very pretty lot. See you in Malaysia and bye-bye.